The city must be built with water that has nothing but musicians in it, or something like that. That's I thought that was sort of cool. Newton Collier has seen and heard it all when it comes to making music. That includes 1968, the year after Macon lost its son of soul, Otis Redding. After Redding's death, Collier believes the city shined the brightest. Uh, over the top. Excellent is not even, excellent would be the lower tier. It's way up. We haven't even come up with that particular year. Macon's growth, the city grows so fast. With national acts like the Beach Boys and Carla Thomas making regular stops in Macon, Collier says local favorites tried to establish themselves, and that included a young protege of Otis Redding's named Arthur Conley. He came along with the song Sweet Soul Music, so he decided to put that song out, and that became, for about two weeks, the new Otis Redding, that new sound. Greats like James Brown were no strangers to Macon. Legends graced many Macon stages. Collier says the music reached out far and wide, calling those that wanted a serious piece of the Macon sound. You would have musicians just walking into town with instruments on their back and two sets of clothes at the most, looking for a gig, trying to get on, trying to get into this, trying to see exactly what is this magic all about. Rick Devins, WGXA News.